The aim of the experiment is to find the resultant of two vectors. The apparatus consists of three Newton balances, paper, a board, some awls, a ruler, a pencil, string and a scissors. Precaution, ensure the Newton balance reads zero, adjust if necessary. Tie a string to each Newton meter as shown and pin the Newton meters to the board. Carefully place the dot under the knot and under each string. Record the magnitude of each force. Four newtons. 2.2 newtons. Two point nine newtons. The three forces are in equilibrium, so their vector sum is zero. Therefore, the resultant of these two should be equal and opposite to the four newtons. Let's join the dots that we made earlier. We're going to use a suitable scale, e.g. 2 centimetres equals 1 newton, to draw the magnitude of each force. 2 times 2.9 newtons will be 5.8 centimetres. Two times 2.2 newtons is 4.4 .4 centimeters and finally 2 times 4 newtons is 8 centimeters we will now use the parallelogram method to get the resultant force of F1 and F2 We have now completed the parallelogram for F1 and F2. Its diagonal will give the resultant force for F1 and F2. The diagonal is 8 centimeters. This corresponds to 4 newtons which will be equal and opposite to F3.